everyone welcome to this update this morning i hope you're doing good we're going to be looking at what is going on across the caribbean so there is that trough which is enhancing a lot of rain there's been a lot of rain in areas such as jamaica and the flood threat continues today for haiti and the dominican republic as well so we can see that massive blob in the caribbean right now so we're going to be talking about it and let us zoom into the region here we can have a better look at it and we can see a lot of this activity now those white dots you're seeing indicate lightning strikes so lots of thunderstorms are offshore jamaica to the uh, southeast right now and uh, offshore haiti to the south some of that activity is actually moving in so as this makes its way up to the northeast it is going to be enhancing the rain and there could be a lot of flooding even mudslides as well and we can see that the activity is pretty widespread overcast conditions maybe with a passing shower at the most for the abc islands there are some showers moving through parts of the virgin islands right now such as saint croix and even for some spots in puerto rico and then as we look to parts of the lesser antilles as well especially the leeward islands and then up to the bahamas there are some thunderstorms still moving through the area same thing for some spots in cuba and it is likely that there are some showers in parts of Jamaica as well. Cayman Islands, though, is just outside the realm of all that activity. There hasn't been much in the area. Same thing for Central America, not seen where much is happening this morning. And the Southeast Islands, the Windward Islands of the Caribbean. So uh, this system here is pretty much dominant in the region right now. Let's look at the rainfall forecast, after which we'll talk about the wind forecast. We can see all of these colorful shadings within the vicinity of the bulk of the activity associated with the trough there could be some additional showers around for parts of the bahamas florida going towards cuba potentially even some heavy downpours in some areas and also headed towards the turks and caicos islands cayman islands not a whole lot of rain expected but you guys may receive a few showers today so hopefully that comes to fruition i have been seeing the comments that it's been so hot and dry there no doubt about that also for jamaica in some areas there could be some additional rainfall today but again the bulk of rain associated with the system lies offshore looking over to central america for parts of the yucatan much not expected at all it should be a bit uh, more on the sunny side today things get a bit more active near the pacific coast of the countries and then northern south america colombia venezuela active for the most part then parts of guyana suriname french guiana especially in the north may experience some rain today abc islands much not expected at all so unfortunately the rainfall chance is pretty slim for you guys then headed to trinidad tobago grenada a shower may move by hopefully it comes true then for the grenadine saint vincent even saint lucia barbados a whole lot of rain not expected today but we see more color on this map here as we head to martinique all the way north through anguilla so there could definitely be some additional rainfall within this area here even for the virgin islands and puerto rico there could be some substantial rain in areas today then we head to hispaniola for southern haiti the tiburon peninsula there's likely to be a lot of heavy rain and even for the dominican republic as well but we're seeing more of those purple shadings for the southern part of haiti so probably up to three inches of rain or so and with that winds are also going to be kicking up within the vicinity of the trough so especially with those thunderstorms associated with it once they're moving through it could be a case where you guys are experiencing tropical storm like conditions meaning that this is not a tropical storm it's a trough of low pressure but the conditions that it's uh, is unleashing or what it will unleash would be reminiscent of a tropical storm so the heavy rainfall the strong winds as well and let's take a look at the wind forecast for today as we see more of the blues especially those darker shadings of blues coming up that is signifying that it's going to be a bit windier so overall for the caribbean for the lesser antilles going to the abc islands potentially even the uh virgin islands and puerto rico winds may kick up a little bit today elsewhere may not be as windy with winds up to around 15 knots or so but just offshore jamaica and haiti they were seeing those darker blue shadings and let's look at this other map here showing a bit more detail so as you see those 
orange going to those reddish shadings that is indicating those stronger winds and so as we head into later this morning we're seeing here that with this trough winds could be gusting up to 47 miles per hour thereabouts so tropical storm wind gusts are likely to be associated with the system as it loiters offshore but then as we're going to be heading into later today we see those very strong winds uh, pretty much dissipate and associated with the trough so now we're moving on to what the euro model is showing in terms of the forecast as we're going to be heading throughout today and into tomorrow as well so all the green shadings you're seeing that is representing the precipitation rate and there we have the time right there so we see all these green shadings around the northern caribbean as we're going to be heading throughout today and into tomorrow as well so more rain expected for much of the greater antilles without uh within this time frame here so that is what euro is showing again the bulk of it uh the heaviest rain is likely to remain offshore but what is going to be moving into hispaniola is going to be enough to unleash significant flooding and even mudslides so please ensure that you guys take all the necessary precautions and stay safe and do not take any unnecessary risks now it is pretty likely that we're not going to be seeing anything significant to become of this trough in terms of uh, development however as we're going to be heading into early june we could definitely see more action in the caribbean so i shared this in my second update video last evening and i'm sharing it with you guys again if you didn't see it so this is for the week of june 5th to the 11th and there we're seeing that red and white striped area so that is representing where we could see some sort of tropical development take place not only that but we're seeing those green shadings around for much of the western caribbean indicating above average rain so we could definitely be seeing a lot more moisture in this general area and an aerial flow pressure may form and try to develop either in the western caribbean or in the eastern pacific so we're seeing the area highlighted here and this is not something surprising to see because again we're going to be heading into the hurricane season so only time will tell what will actually unfold but i mean provided the sea surface temperatures are very warm and more than supportive of development we could certainly see something but that is to talk about more as we approach the time for now the primary concern is the trough which is expected to unleash its dangerous impacts especially in terms of the rainfall but of course i'm here to keep you guys posted as per usual and that is it for right now i really do hope you found this update to be very informative however if you have any questions do feel free to leave them in the comments i'll respond to you when i get the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise.